Right? We got to we got to come back and get what's ours, man, in righteousness. Alright, so read what you got, brother. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 5. Come on. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God. Go ahead. Surely in the fire of my jealousy. In the fire of the Lord's jealousy. Go ahead. Have I spoken against the residue of the heathen? The Lord said he spoke against the residue of the heathen. Go ahead. And against all Idumia. Against all Idumia. Idumia is Edomia. Okay? You know what Edomia? In modern Hebrew, it's Edom. All right, go ahead. Which have appointed my land into their possession. The Lord said Edom, the Idumian, which is the Greek way of saying Edom or so-called white people. You appointed God's land into your possession. You obtained the land of Israel after the uh, 1948 British mandate expired. And you came into the land. Go ahead. With the joy of their heart. You said, now we're going to live over here. We're going to be the Jews. We're going to fulfill prophecy. We're back here in the land. Go ahead. With despiteful minds. With despiteful minds, go ahead. To cast it out for a prey. And there's been no peace in that land since you know. Is a lot of power. All right, so now the Lord said, the residue of the heathen would inherit our land. You guys are heathen, a tagoy. A tagoyo. Go ahead. Because according to the Bible, you don't fulfill the prophecy. Give me the right to me. When was your people ever sent anywhere on the station? When was your people so called like you? Did you fulfill the prophecy of Deuteronomy 28? Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord said he would bring us into Egypt. Egypt is synonymous with bondage. The Lord said he would bring the true Hebrews into bondage or captivity or slavery. Go ahead. Again with ships. A second time with ships. How did the so called Negro Right? Now God is using Moses to tell us to the Jews right here. But this never happened to the so-called white vocation. Right there. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. God told us according to the prophecy and the law, if we disobeyed them, this is what our judgment will be. Right, come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. What would we see anymore again? Our homeland, the land of Israel. We're scattered in America. We're scattered all over the earth. And we don't see our land by not even acknowledging it. We don't even acknowledge that we're from the land of Israel. We think we're going back to Africa. Right, come on. And there ye shall be sold. Now what happened? When we was brought to America, we were sold on auction blocks. We got the yokes of iron up on our neck and we were put up on auction blocks to be sold. We're still being sold. By way of what now? Sports entertainment. That's a modern day slave or auction. That's all that is. Sold to the highest bidder. Now you be a good slave for us, go out there, sing, dance, make us all the money, boy, and then when you finish, you'll be broke. I will sacrifice you and take everything you got. Right, go ahead. Unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto your enemies. And your ancestors financed the slave ships coming over here too. Right? It was your Jewish ancestors. Right? They said we were sold unto our enemies. African Arabs sold us into the white man, and you guys financed the slave ships. Go ahead. For born men. For what? For bond men. For slave men, go ahead. And bond women. And bond women, slave women, go ahead. And no man shall buy you. No man will redeem us out of this captivity. 29 and 1. Huh? Why is he reading? He's reading the book of Deuteronomy. Right? The fifth book of the Torah. The fifth book of the Torah. Wow, Deuteronomy. That's how you said it. Alright, Deuteronomy. It means second law. Alright, go ahead. Deuteronomy. Stop, stop acting like you don't speak English. Right. Deuteronomy 29, verse 1. Come on. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. So the children of Israel, this will happen to you. Go ahead. In the land of Moab. So now if this would happen to the children of Israel and the Negroes fulfill what we just read, who would be the true children of Israel or the true Jews? They would have to be the so-called Negroes that would brought you on slave ships and all the rest of the tribes on the sign. That went into different uh, levels of captivity, which the Bible speaks about. You guys became converts, right, under the Ashkenaz, the Sephardim, right? You can read a book called the 13th Tribe. You guys are not the real Jews. You converted to Judaism in the 8th century. All right, so go ahead. Oh, that's, it on, that's it on that. Give me uh, Revelation 2 and 9. Right? Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. No, we are pro Israel, but we're pro Israelites. Not pro Israel, but we're pro Israel. 
We're pro black, Latino, Native American, and Central Indian, which make up the true Israel. That's what we're pro. We're not pro Israel. Israel wants to be blown up in third world war. The Arab motivation from your third world war, you want to be blown out, and then we're going to come into the land, clean it up, and take that position for the land. You have a place in this world, your place is to rule now. Hold on, we're going to get all that. Okay. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy works. Uh, hey, wait, wait a minute, you got to hear your judgment. Uh, you going back to Israel? No, so when you go back, tell the Israeli government and the Israeli Messiah that you met the real Jews in Times Square. Right. And that they lied to you, your rabbis, your ancestors, the Israeli Messiah, the Israeli government, they all lied to you. And they didn't tell you the truth. Hey! Tell them you met us in Times Square, live and direct, Sunday morning, August 13th, 2017. Go back and tell the Mossad and the Israeli government that they lied and they told you guys you were the Jews and they're not a word of survival and they're not a and they're not a Good. I know thy works and tribulation. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. They always play that front, man. I ain't gonna understand English good. My English not too good. Get out of here. But speaking, but speaking perfect English to me. And what the hell are you doing in America? Right, go ahead. And are not. And are what? And are not. And are not. Come on. But are the synagogue of Satan. And are right. The synagogue of Satan. And even though Christ was rebuking the seven churches, but you can apply this to them too. Because they're not the real Jews. They say they are, but they're not. Well, Yahweh Shah was more so saying our people that's saying they Israel or claiming to serve the most high, but in the actions they deny it. Right, you say you're a Jew, but you're really not. You're not following the whole song. But that can apply to this devil also. Right, come on. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Go ahead. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. See, like just like back in the ancient time, they were martyred, they were cast into prison. Who's to say that stuff is not going to start happening in these last days? These brothers just went through that. All right, out in California. He saw try to set them up in a trap. Some bogus charges with the um, conspiracy with the JDL. And the JDL, they been setting our people up, man. They had a part in killing Tupac. Right. The, 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 um, the JDL was trying to exploit Tupac. They was calling him and threatening him, and then calling him two days later saying, we heard you got some threats and you need police, you need some uh, protection. The JDL can protect you. You can uh, pay us $1,500 a week or something like that. But they were the ones crank calling him and threatening his life. Then two days later, they'll call him and say, we heard your life was threatened. Do you need some protection? They were trying to extort Tupac. The JDL helped the CIA, got together with the CIA, and killed uh, and killed uh, Khaled Muhammad. What is the JDL? All right. Uh, 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 well, it's ADL. It's, 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 it's both. It's Jewish Defense League and Anti-Defamation League. All right, they all the damn devil, right? Uh, all Jewish organizations. Right, all, uh, ADL, all devils need yes. right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? All right, JDL, Jewish Devils League. That's right. Just, just Devils League. Right, go ahead, Brother Reed. Reed. That day that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Come on. Be thou faithful until death. So Christ told us in these last days, be faithful unto death. Go ahead. And I will give thee a crown of life. The Lord said he would give us a crown of life if we endure to the end. Right. Now give me, now give me three and nine. Because these bastards are not the real Jews and they're going in captivity, hardcore captivity. Double, double payback for what they did to us. My God, brother, read that. Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. Come on. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. That's what they are, man. They are the synagogue of Satan. Go ahead. Which say they are Jews. Which what? Which say they are Jews. They say they are Jews. Come on. And are not. And they're not the real Jews. Go ahead. But do lie. What do say? But do lie. The Lord said they do lie. Go ahead. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. The Lord said he's going to make them to come and worship before our feet. They're going to bow down to us. 
you're going to make them come and worship before our feet. Go ahead. And to know that I have loved thee. And the Lord said, to know that I have loved thee. Right, so they're going to come and bow down before the true men of the most high these last days. Right, give me Jeremiah 16, 19. Right, Jeremiah 16, 19. Because the Lord said, he's also going to make them start confessing that they, they uh, ancestors lied to them. Huh. So you get the, you get the proud bastards like that. All of a sudden, they can't speak English. All right, and you explain to me, don't use this. We're using the Bible, we're using English. We know your ass can understand it. Right, me what you got, brother. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 19. Go ahead. Oh, Lord, my strength and my fortress. Come on. And my refuge in the day of affliction. Come on. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies. They're going to realize that their ancestors lied to them. Our fathers have inherited lies. Go ahead. Vanity. Vanity. Come on. And things wherein there is no profit. And it, it, it didn't profit them nothing to, to go around lying saying that they're the real Jews. They're going to acknowledge that, man. And the more this kingdom fall, the more Israel rise, you're going to start seeing that manifest. That's why you see all these brothers, man, coming together and doing this work. And it's, been, it's just the spirit and energy is rising, man. We can't even control it. We can't even control it, man. We're looking at brothers one day in a whole other damn part of the country. The next day, we teach them right next to them. And you can't control it, man. It's, it's all of the most high. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this word is going haywire in righteousness, man. Right. You can't even control it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit of the Lord. Because he said, what? This gospel of the kingdom. Give me that. Matthew 24 and 12. Out of 14. So like, matter of fact, start at 10 to get the understanding. Matthew 24 and 10. So y'all brothers, man, got to get man. All right? And get in this work. Get in the structures. You know, because this gospel, this work, got to be done. You know, whether by, by hook or by crook. All right? Uh, give me that. Matthew chapter 24, verse 10. And then shall many be offended. See that? Then many gonna be offended, man. Come on. And shall betray one another. And shall betray one another. Come on. And shall hate one another. They're gonna hate one another. They're gonna betray one another. They're gonna hate one another. Come on. And many false prophets shall rise. The Lord said false prophets are gonna rise. Go ahead. And shall deceive many. And shall deceive many, man. And you had examples of that. Right? Uh, uh, what was the guy? Marshall Appleway. Heaven's Gate Post. Uh, Jim Jones, right? Uh, David Koresh, all these guys follow me and I take you to heaven. So he took you to a damn early grave. What the hell he took you to, man? <laughs> right? I got the keys to the to, to heaven. Uh, uh, Doc, Dr. York, and he got 720 degrees of, of knowledge. <laughs> right? Follow him, he can answer any question. Right? Go ahead. And because iniquity shall bow. Go ahead. The love of many shall wax cold. See that? Because they trying to make them four-year-olds transvestites in camps now. The love of many is going to wax cold. Right, come on. But he that shall endure unto the end. What did the Lord say? But he that shall endure to the end. He that endure to the end. Come on. The same shall be saved. That's how you're going to be saved. You got to make it and endure to the end. Come on. And, the, and this gospel of the kingdom. This gospel of the kingdom. Go ahead. Shall be preached. In all the world. It's going to be preached in all this world, all this kingdom. Go ahead. For a witness. For a witness, come on. Unto all nations. All nations, go ahead. And then shall the end come. He said, then shall the end come. So this word is going to get out all over the planet. Uh, physically and also by way of technology and uh, so, uh, social media. Right? This word is going to get out. Whether you like it, understand it, accept it, believe it or not. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. So he said he's going to seal this 144,000 as he like. That's what's going on. All right, what you got? All right, read on. Verse 16. Oh, finish now. 15. By Daniel the prophet. Uh, jump down to 36. Verse 36. Come on. But of that day and hour, knowing no man. So the Lord said, we don't know the exact day and hour, but we know Peter said we have a more sure word of prophecy. So we look for the signs that the most high showing us. Come on. No, not the angels of heaven. Not even not the angels of heaven. Go ahead. But my father only. But my father only. We didn't get from the top. That's right. But of that day and hour, no, no man. No, not the angels of heaven. So now they talk about the September 23rd thing again. 
All right? The world is going to end because it's going to be a clip in the eclipse on um, August 21st. So a month later, September 23rd, the world is going to end. Or whatever. I don't even know what the yeah, hell. A couple years ago, the same thing. Yeah, a couple years ago, 2015, 2016, same thing. 2012, you know what I'm saying? 2011. Doomsday clock. Doomsday clock, you know what I'm saying? 11.59 and 59 seconds. I mean, come on, man. Right, go ahead, brother. But my father only. What did the Lord say? But my father only. So it said only his father knows. So it is a major contradiction for a person to say the world is going to end September 23rd, 2017. It's just impossible. Like a brother told me, um, Like a, my brother told me a few years back, oh, you going off, because right? you're not talking about, you're not talking about the Jade Helm, and you're not talking about the CERN, and all the things that's about to go down. <laughs> and the damn, the damn summer went by, and there was no goddamn Jade Helm, right? Right? And I don't know what the hell they did with CERN. They were supposed to, uh, what was they supposed to unleash a portal with spirits? Yeah, yeah. They all got abused. Unleash the beast. They don't need a goddamn portal for that, man. <laughs> <laughs> the demons are out already, man. <laughs> the hell you need a portal to unleash the demons? They're already here, man. No, the no, most no. I said in Revelations, this is the cage of every foul spirit. That's right. right. An unclean and hateful damn bird, man. <laughs> you don't need to open a goddamn portal, man, for spirits to come out. Satan open the heavens and the damn spirits come down. Right. Right, go ahead, brother. Read. But as the days of Noah were. But see, a, a brother tried to, he tried to call me up and check me. Yo, I, why you ain't prophesying on that? You going off, Fox. I said, yo, brother, I'll believe Jade Helm when I see it. I said, when I see eight to ten states locked down with martial law, then I'll know that Jade Helm is here. When they open this portal and I see it's like them Ghostbusters out there. That's what they teach the Ghostbusters doctrine. They teach the Ghostbusters doctrine, all right? When I see them open this portal and I see a damn ghost floating through Times Square, then I'll say, okay, sir, it has been opened up. <laughs> Come on, brother. Go ahead, brother. Read. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. I, I, I've been studying Illuminati and conspiracy for years, and a lot of times the stuff that they say is going to happen, it never happens. Or it don't happen in the time frame that they say. Maybe the most I might let it happen later on when he say so. But you can't get it all, you can't get too much into that conspiracy hype, man. Because you start putting dates on stuff and then nothing don't happen. You're looking stupid. You're a false prophet now. You had Israelites in Israel moving to Jerusalem in 2015. Giving up their cars and jobs and everything, moving to Jerusalem saying the world is going to end on September 23rd. By, by, by November 2015, they was looking simple as hell, man. They was regretting they quit their jobs. They was coming back to America looking for their cars. Simple, man. You know what I'm saying? Just go, just do the work. That's all, just do the work, and the most I'm gonna do what he gonna do. Just do the work. Right, go ahead. Verse 38. For in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Marrying and giving in marriage. Go ahead. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Come on. And knew not until the flood came. And took them all away. The Lord said he knew not until the flood came and took them all away. Go ahead. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Go ahead. Then shall two be in the field. That's it on that. It said it's going to be just like the days of Noah. So shall the coming of the Son of Man be. So it's going to catch you off guard if you're not having a more sure word of prophecy. If you're not keeping a watchful eye. If you're not being circumspect. If you're not following Matthew 26, 41, where Yahweh shall said, watch as one is pray. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. You got to be mindful in these last days. It's on. All right? So give all praise to the Most High by that's my time, man. I'm going to let one of my other, other brothers come up here and teach the word. I mean, we out here all night. I'm going to stay out until about five, so I'm going to let one of my other brothers rock. I've been teaching for hours now, man. I'm going to take a breather and uh, let one of my brothers come in and get busy with this word until we shut it down and get ready for another